Hi, I'm Tim Warner from CBT Nuggets. Welcome to the CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget on Oracle 11G administration tools. We're going to focus on the inbox admin tools that come with a default installation of Oracle and or are freely available at the Oracle website. Oracle is a beast of a database, so a common question that folks have when they're starting off is what tools are available? Well, of course, that's the goal of this mini nugget. Command line tools. We have what's called SQL Plus or SQL Plus, there are a few different ways to refer to it. This is the main command line client that enables us to log into a database and execute not only structured query language statements, but there are also several internal statements that are specific to SQL Plus. If you have experience with other RDBMS platforms like MySQL or SQL Server, that's generally the case. Each vendor tends to have a subset. Either they customize some of the ANSI SQL statements and or they have some internal statements that you just have to become familiar with. They do about the same things though. The operating system command shell. This could be the terminal environment in Linux or Mac OS X. Could be the cmd.exe process in Windows. Why do I list this as an admin tool? Well, we use the command shell to write script files, shell scripts that then go in and tap into Oracle command line tools. Our man is another one, come to think of it. I've done a separate micro nugget on recovery recovery manager, but this is one of a few command line tools that are compiled executables that perform specific tasks in Oracle. There are a few others. Let me jump down here. Configuration apps like the database configuration assistant, the net configuration assistant tools, there's a couple different versions of those. They can be called from the command line, but they actually spawn graphical user interface or GUI tools. The main GUI tool though for Oracle administrators is called database control, also called Oracle Enterprise Manager. This is a freestanding web application. The difference between database control and grid control deals with whether you want to manage just a single instance of the database or multiple instances of multiple databases. There's a couple installation routines. One allows you to install DB control. That happens when you do an ordinary installation of Oracle. Or you can download the grid software from Oracle's website separately. But anyway, when you use this graphical tool, under the hood, you're executing SQL, SQL+, possibly RMAN commands, and other command line stuff. In that sense, it reminds me of Windows 3.1, how when you execute commands using your mouse in Windows, old Windows, under the hood, you were actually running MS-DOS commands. It's an image that I just can't get out of my head. <laughs> Another mainline GUI tool is Oracle SQL Developer. This is a Java desktop application, thus it needs to be installed locally on your administrative system that gives you access yet again to all of your Oracle admin tools and it makes calls under the hood using various APIs. I'll show you in our demo briefly those configuration apps that enable us to set up Oracle Net or the network configuration that Oracle uses or DBCA that we use to create and modify databases. Finally, just a quick nod, there are several third-party admin tools that have devoted followings. Some examples Examples would include Toad and Navicat. Those are probably the most popular, but there are several others. Some proprietary closed source, others open source and free in that community. Now let's hop out into a live instance of Oracle and we'll take a brief look at some of these tools ourselves. Now I want you to understand, friends, that the tools I'm about to show you are available in any platform of Oracle. I just happen to be running a Windows system here, but it works the same way if you're on Linux or Mac OS X, so please don't feel that I'm being partial to a specific host operating system platform. If we fire up a terminal prompt or an administrative command prompt, we can get to SQL Plus pretty easily, assuming we have the Oracle Home slash bin directory in our search path. As you see, I've been working in RMAN. That's a separate tool that we can get to in the command line. It's used for backups, restores, and restorations. I'm going to exit out of that, clear the screen, and we'll start the SQL Plus client. There's various ways ways to log into SQL Plus. For full info, I would suggest that you check out my CBT Nuggets training course on Oracle Database 11G DBA1, where you'll learn the full syntax. We can type help index to get a run of all of the internal commands available in SQL Plus, and of course we can make calls using SQL itself, using traditional ANSI SQL syntax. If we fire up a web browser, we also have database control, also called Oracle 
Enterprise Manager, and this tool gives you access to all of the features, really, of a particular installation of Oracle, a particular database. We have dashboard screens, we have just pages and pages of links. In some ways, this is reminiscent of the Microsoft SharePoint server interface, actually, as far as that goes. But that's our main GUI tool. I've installed Oracle SQL Developer on this system. As I said, this is a Java tool. It's a desktop application. I'm running a slightly older version here. I'm running, let's see, looks like version 2, but you can get version 3 from the Oracle website that has additional features. In particular, Oracle has finally included RMAN functionality in SQL Developer. And I have some stored connections over here. I'll make a connection as sys. One of the neat things about SQL Developer, among many, is that it gives you, well, a graphical view of all of your schema objects. It gives you the ability to save your work. There are several elements of an integrated development environment, or IDE. You can do breakpoints, step into PLSQL code or SQL code. There's versioning. There's a lot of unit testing. I mean, the list goes on. This is really a robust tool that's worth your while. Note that you do have to have the Java runtime environment installed because it is, in fact, a Java application. Finally, you have those GUI configuration tools like I mentioned before. You can get to those through the start hierarchy in Windows. This is a little different between Linux and Mac OS X. You'll have to just know the command line names for them in that environment. But the two main ones are Net Configuration Assistant and Net Manager. The difference between these tools is their approach. They both allow you to customize Oracle database network parameters, what's called Oracle Net. The Configuration Assistant walks you through things like configuring listeners, naming methods, net service names, and directory usage. Whereas the other tool, Net Manager, assumes that you know directly what you want to do. Let me just fire it up really quickly. See? And you can just drill directly into your listener and your naming parameters and make changes that way. But still, it's cool because you don't have to modify, for instance, the listener.ora file in a text editor. This gives you a much more friendly way to make and commit those changes. So there you have it. I've shown you the basic administration tool set in Oracle Database 11G. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.